Hey guys, it's Dorian here. I'm going to talk today about uh, Ubuntu 18.04 LTS. Uh, the new code name for it is Bionic Beaver, and we've got some release dates. So, January 4th, 2018, we've got the Alpha 1 release, followed in February by the Alpha 2. Uh, March 8th is the first beta release, and on 9th, sorry, 26th of April, is the stable release for 18.04 LTS. Um, what are the updates going to be? Well, there's going to be better hardware support, of course, and um, we're going to stick with Wayland, it seems. Um, there's going to be some improved cloud computing uh, features and some Internet of Things features, but the biggest thing for a regular user like me and you is Unity is not coming back. They're going to stick with GNOME or GNOME, however you want to say it. And uh, I'm okay with that because that's what I like using. But I know that distributions like to brand their um, desktop environments. I kind of like how the desktop looks right now. Um, keep in mind this is uh, 17.10. 17.04 had a couple issues for me and 17.10 seems to be running much better. Uh, what I do like about it is it is running uh, 3.26 3.26.1 which is codenamed Manchester's the latest GNOME shell release and um, talking about the branding the coloring is what my issue is um, as you've seen probably in my other videos I have the dock and the top bar black all the time because I like it like that and I find with this when you when you maximize your windows the transparency goes away which is good because I don't like uh, the transparency you know, seeing the background over a little sliver at the top of the screen, I don't like that. But the dock goes black. So you've got this gray and black mix in the corner, which that really bothers me. Um, I guess, you know, not that big of a deal for a lot of people, but when it's something you're staring at all the time, and um, these, these are the little things that I like about um, different environments. It bugs me um, and since I also don't like this gradient you see the gray here kind of melts in together so that's all fine but uh, I don't like the ambience window decorations that's just me being picky um, I would prefer a lighter or even a straight black but when you maximize it now it makes it look even worse uh, I played with some different themes to try to make it go back to all black, but as you can see, they don't look the same as GNOME did before. So they overwrote the default, so I'm hoping with 18 that they have default and then maybe they can add vanilla so we can go back to how it was for those of us who are stuck in our ways. Um, other than that, uh, everything seems to be working fine with 17.10. Um, you do have the option, which is nice, um, of when you log in, choosing if you want to run on Wayland, which is now the default, or use the old Xorg server. Um, I like the Xorg server, but Wayland seems to be working fine. But time will tell. Um, yeah, so that's all I got now. And uh, that's all I wanted to say. This news came out three, four days ago. Mark Shuttleworth made a couple statements, and the whole Bionic Beaver thing came out. So I thought I'd uh, put up a little video and just say what I think, because that's what I do. Anyways, that's all I got. Subscribe if you want to see 18.04 uh, the second I can get my hands on it. Um, I'm also going to upload a video that I made on Manjaro, which I just installed, and show off its GNOME theming that it did, which is quite nice. And um, 
yeah, so subscribe, like the video, and you can find me over on Twitter at Dorian.slash. See you later.